So check this out, tech fans. You guys all know that Windows 10 just got released and along with that rolled out DirectX 12. Now a lot of people are asking all around the world, hey, is there a big improvement or any improvement at all between DX11 and DX12? Well, obviously, there are some things going on and a lot of controversies going on. Stones are being thrown. Um, I want to say a special thanks to Hot Hardware. I actually caught this story over on their website where I got the idea from. So thanks a lot to you guys. Appreciate that. Um, we'll have a link back to that full article down below. But the big news is, is that basically there's controversy. Lots of controversy. And is it a level playing field right now? Well, it really doesn't seem so. So DirectX 12 is here. But what is everybody using to test DirectX 12? I mean, there hasn't actually been anything that's been out yet that truly does it other than synthetic tests, such as, you know, things like from FutureMark and that. But if you want real gaming stuff, well, Ashes of the Singularity is the only thing out that actually tests all of the functions of the DirectX 12 API. And it's actually a benchmark that's cut from their upcoming game. So. This thing's going to be based on a real game that's coming out, so it's real, solid gaming test. Now, here's where all the controversy starts coming out. Everybody right now is currently testing with a high-end Intel CPU. They're all using the i7-5960. You guys all know that. That's all the high-end stuff. That's not like the lower-end stuff. That's the super high-end stuff. So that right off the bat means, okay, we're using the best of the best right there. But when you're testing with an AMD card between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12, you're seeing an 80% performance jump. That's right, 80% performance. But when you use a 980 on those same tests, on the low setting, you're getting about 8% of a performance boost, but when you put it up to the high setting, you're actually getting a decrease of 12%. Now, obviously, now by the way, NVIDIA, if you're watching this Del Rizzo, I'm just giving the news out. Don't be pissed at me personally for just being the delivery boy on this. Now, NVIDIA is really pissed off about this. They've already sent emails out to all the people, I guess, including to Hot Hardware 2. They sent them an email and said, hey, that's completely BS. Their test is BS. Well. The people who made the game said, hey, no, it's not BS, not whatsoever. Like, we've already showed you guys the code. They laid out all this stuff and said, hey, no way, man. You had your opportunity. You guys know the code. NVIDIA fired back with, hey, you know, just like when DirectX 11 came out in the beginning, hey, this isn't going to be that way. We're going to have all of our shit and it's going to work. It's on you. It just seems like all the controversy is coming around MSAA and the way that it's used because I guess by some ways it's on by default and that's causing some problems. Now, obviously, we know that regardless of what's going on, NVIDIA is going to fix this problem. So even if it is true that right now that NVIDIA isn't completely DirectX 12 ready, how many people have actually jumped over to Windows 10? I know there's some people, but a lot of people I know have already said, this and have already switched back to 8.1 or 7 depending on what their preference was so huh it's just really crazy stuff so you guys heard it here i mean directx 12 is here but if you're planning on upgrading right now and you want that performance you might want to be taking a look at this and watching the news as this unfolds because obviously this is going to be a very heated debate the people in nvidia are going to be very pissed off but hey, this game, Ashes of the Singularity, just for the simple fact that it pissed NVIDIA off is gonna propel it into the limelight because NVIDIA fans, AMD fans, everybody's gonna be jumping on this bandwagon and be going, hey man, what the fuck's going on here? So either way, hey, those guys are gonna be popular. What do you guys think? I wanna see your guys' comments down below. Is it really a big deal? Do you guys think that NVIDIA is actually screwing you guys? Or do you guys think it's just probably some coding issue that somewhere, somehow is just not right? Let me hear what you guys have to say down below. In fact, let me hear your comment. It'd be really cool. So what do you guys think? Is it Ashes of the Singularity? Is it their fault? Are they the guys who are making the problems? Or is it NVIDIA's fault for not having their shit together and having the drivers and everything ready on their end? Let me know down below. But there you guys have it. Right now, you could probably start a whole talk show thing. We could do like a Jerry Springer show on this entire thing. Have people throwing chairs, going crazy. Del Rizzo, I'd really like to see you get in the ring with Roy Taylor. You guys throw some blows. I'm just kidding. But that would be fun shit. The fans would love it, even for the joke matter. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech Tomorrow. Thanks very much to the people over at Hot Hardware. Uh, we'll have a link down below to that original story. Hope you guys like this news, but that's what it is, man. DirectX 12 is out. Is NVIDIA really ready? I don't know.
Time will tell.